Hey guys, today I'm reviewing the Replenix All Trans Retinol Smoothing Serum five times. This product I gave a three out of five stars, so slightly better than average. You know, I really didn't mind this product, but there were a couple things that were um, you know, present that led me to not giving it a higher review, which is why it did get three out of five. For this one ounce container, it was $73.50 to purchase. So the price right off the bat was a big drawback for me. So when I you know, purchased this product, $73.50, I was just really expecting that in order for me to give it a high, you know, a much higher rating, I needed to just be wowed. And I just I didn't quite get that wow factor that you know you should get for a product that, that is that price. Now this product, when you first pump it out, it does have a very kind of like thick yellow texture to it. So even though it is a serum, it's definitely a little bit thicker than many of the other serums that I've used. As soon as it pumps out, it does feel very almost like a greasy jelly on your hands or on your face. It's very, very, you know, very thick and greasy. However, quickly, within five to 10 seconds, I mean, already now and I just pumped it into my hand, you get this velvety kind of smooth texture to it. So it goes from greasy to velvety very quickly. Application, you know, for this product um, is quite simple. You really just pump it out, rub your hands together, and then pat it on your face and your neck. Make sure since it's a thicker serum to really pat and not rub. All together, this, um, you know, Replenix only took about, you know, 20, 15, 20 seconds to apply, so it was really easy. However, you could definitely feel it on your skin for a while. I mean, even on my hands now, it feels like you have a really heavy moisturizer on. So, you know, your skin felt as if, you know, it wasn't that it was sticky, it wasn't gooey. You could just tell that you just pumped something on, and it, it stayed like that for quite a while. So. You know, as far as the drying time goes, with all that being said, I just, it could have been better. It, I never minded it. It's not like it came off on my pillow when I was sleeping or anything like that, but it, it definitely could have dried quicker. It was just, you, you could feel it. I mean, like I said, even still on my hands right now, I can just feel it on my skin. Not that it's, not that it's a bad thing, but it's just, you know, it definitely took a while to dry. Now, you know, the smell of this product is just, it's not, it's not my favorite. It's even though it's mild, it has a very, very unpleasant smell to it. And unfortunately, it only gets worse once it hits your skin. When you first pump it out of the container, it, you don't really smell anything. It stays very, it's very mild. But then as soon as the smoothing serum touches your skin or your neck, it, you know, or your, your face or your neck, it, you know, it definitely just has a really bad smell to it and the smell doesn't dissipate right away. It does dissipate over time, but it's definitely there for a while. So, you know, as far as the results go using Replenix, I, I saw some nice changes to my skin. However, not enough changes to justify a $73.50 price tag, but that's just me. Um, my skin did get a little bit more hydrated. I thought that the texture really improved. I didn't notice a huge change to my fine lines and wrinkles. You know, some of my lines did appear less noticeable. I actually also applied some on my hands every night as well, uh, just to see, because I do have those deep wrinkles. And I mean, you can see that they're still there, but they did fade a little. So they really did help my you know, lines and wrinkles become I don't know, probably just a little less noticeable, but I definitely, they did not disappear by any means. And my texture of my skin did just kind of maintain that healthy hydrated glow, and it kept my skin kind of smooth and silky. So all of that was really, really good. Um, but again, nothing so spectacular that I would want to spend $73 on a regular basis for it. Um, so again, overall, three out of five stars for this product, um, Replenix Smoothing Serum, just because, uh, I mean, the main two reasons why it did not score slightly higher was because of the smell and the price point. Um, you know, it, it's great for people with sensitive skin because it really is hydrating. It's, um, 
it's definitely a more mild retinol product. So maybe for someone entry level who hasn't experienced a lot of different retinol products um, and just wants to a really good kind of entry level product, then I would recommend it. But for someone that's looking for more kind of an aggressive retinol feel, then I would definitely look in a different direction. Um, so for more information on this product and many other retinol products, make sure to visit us online at retinol.com and follow us on social media. Bye guys, see you next time.